thank you for joining us. So we're going to go over Starship's new web UI uh, interface for Sage 100. Uh, again, going to go through a quick PowerPoint slide deck, a little talk about the technologies, the new web UI. I'm um, also going to just jump into a little potential savings with USPS. Uh, we've been finding a lot of clients um, shipping and you, you know, kind of using standard carriers, but um, really some great rates with USPS and finding out that, hey, they can actually be saving um, some good money um, instead of going standard carriers using actually USPS. So we'll jump into that. And then, of course, the live demo. Uh, so with that being said, let me get this slide deck going here. Quick agenda, as I mentioned, talk about V-Technologies, our e-commerce integration, potential savings with USPS, and then, of course, the live demo. So real quick, V-Technologies, we've actually been developing integrated shipping solutions um, since 1989. So this year, it's been 30 years. I've been working with the Sage product line, that deep integration with their products for over 17 years and currently have over 10,000 customers that are using our integrated shipping solutions. Uh, we are a UPS ready uh, provider and as well as a FedEx compatible platinum solution. Uh, of course, we are a Sage Gold development partner as well as a certified solution. And for those of you that don't know, uh, we actually are located in Connecticut and all of our sales support development Etc. Everything is done in house. We're really not outsourcing anything. You know, if you call support, uh, you're going to get the guys right here in the office. Right. Move on. Uh, so, just want to also talk a little bit about our e-commerce integrations. Uh, so, a lot of uh, clients not aware that we do have integrations with e-commerce sites. And as you can see on this slide, these are all the ones that we do have integrations with. So, real quick, I'll talk about these integrations. So, we have two different options, and I'll. For example, you shop Shopify as an example, uh, but with the Shopify integration, I can actually pull my orders directly from Shopify from within inside Starship. Now, most clients, especially you guys using Sage 100, hey, we have an ERP system. We're going to want to get our orders first into that ERP system. So if you're doing that, uh, you can use these extent or these integrations as an extension. So with the extension, uh, it would be normal process. We're going to grab that order from inside of Sage, bring it into Starship. Uh, once we ship and process now, instead of just Starship writing back tracking freight amounts as well as you know item quantities into Sage, it will also upload it to, again, I'll say Shopify. Uh, so kind of uh, gonna go in both places. Uh, so a nice integration. And of course, if you'd like any more information on these integrations, definitely please feel free to reach out to me. All right, and with that, we'll jump into kind of potential savings with our USPS integration. So first off, I want you everyone to kind of think about what you're shipping. Uh, I have some examples up here. As you can see, you know, liquids, powders, small, heavy items, you know, it doesn't matter if it's light or heavy, uh, but really anything that's going to be able to fit in a box. And here it says 12 by 0.25, 12 by 0.25 by 6 or less. All right, um, really it's 12 by 12, but we round down by a quarter. Um, but if you have any items that you're shipping that you probably fit in, you know, maximum size box of 12 by 12 by 6, you are potentially can gain access to some savings. So on this slide, just have an example. You know, maybe we're going to ship something uh, from Utah to Florida. And as you can see, the first column, we have the standard, you know, basic standard carriers. And we have, if you're doing a flat rate envelope, you know, 9 by 12, as you can see say like $10 and 66 cents. Uh, we can also get into cubic. So as you know, UPS FedEx, we have dimensional weights. Uh, I do want to say USPS is going to start doing dimensional weights, um, but their calculation actually is a better deal than using the other carriers. Uh, but you can also get into cubic pricing. So as you can see here with this cubic 9 by 12, I have potential savings of $5.69. And then with our integrations and through our partnership through Visible, uh, you may be able to qualify, as you can see, this cubic high volume. Um, there are some, uh, of course, rules that we have to follow, you know, one being we have to have over 100 uh, priority mail pieces a week. And it will also require a Visible analyst, uh, analyst with Visible. Um, and really with that, I can jump onto this next slide here. I think they're going to ask for like three months of bills. You send that to them. Uh, what you can do, again, if you want any further information on this, want to set up 
this call with them so they can go through and, and kind of see the savings. Um, you can reach out to me and I can send you further information, uh, get you in touch with the right contacts. But, you know, we, we did have, as you can see, customers that saved more than $400,000 annually by just instead of shipping standard carrier, you know, moving over to USPS. And again, you know, even if it's a couple dollars savings, it really does add up. Now with that, let's jump into the demo. So let me get out of here. And on my screen is the new Starship web UI. So um, if we have any clients that are currently using Starship with the link interface where you're coming in through shipping data entry, uh, you're gonna see a lot of new features that you're gonna gain access through this web UI. Uh, if you're currently using our business object interface and shipping directly from Starship, uh, you're gonna see really be all those same features that you're kind of already used to and hopefully taking advantage of. But as you can see, nice new look and feel to Starship. So to start out, uh, of course, we can pull by sales order, customer, or by invoice number. Now most clients, and for the sake of this demo, I will pull by sales order number. Um, as you see up top, sales order. I can, if I, my pick sheets are barcoded, simply use a wedge type scanner, scan in that barcoded sales order number. Um, also get into applying filters. So here I just have order date, but if we wanted to, you know, we can filter by any of these columns in this dropdown. All right. Another feature, I can also group related orders. So I can select this. And if you ever run into, hey, you know, we're shipping in this case, in my system, I have three orders that are going to the same ship to. So this is telling me, you know, these three orders are related. So I can simply, you know, just click this one checkbox. And what Starship would do once I say create shipment is consolidate all three of these orders into one shipment. It's gonna save you time, gonna save you money. All right, so for the sake of the demo, I'll just deselect that. We'll turn this off and we'll just grab one order, one single order. So different options. Again, I can use the load document up top here. I can manually look at my order and I can click the little truck or create shipment icon, or I can also select the checkbox and then go to create shipment. So we're going to do that and functionality with Sage and Starship. We're going to map in all the order header light item information automatically for your shipper. So again, source information, you know, where this is coming from. Sender, of course, is the company we're pulling this order from inside of Sage. Recipient, ship to. You know, still do that address validation or have Starship automatically do it. Going to validate zip plus four, automatically correct residential commercial flags. The transportation type going to map in, you know, based off the ship via on the sales order, Starship's automatically going to select carrier service. Uh, if anyone's doing collect or third-party shipment, this really helps because we can automate that and have it automatically say, oh, yep, it's going collect, and here's the customer's account information. Now, up top, you know, most of these fields, I really consider them order header information. Now, we also can get into that line item detail. So, a couple different options with that. Uh, I can go and maybe I'll just drill down into this packaging as well as line items. So as you can see, brings up all the information. Line items, the line item from the sales order. From here, I can change and if I want to back order an item, I can most certainly back order inside the Starship. And of course, Starship will back order the invoice inside of Sage. Now up top, packaging. So with this interface, uh, one thing that's going on here is a packaging scenario. So with packaging scenarios, Starship can automatically learn them or you can automatically set them up. So what I have, Starship knows, hey, every time this hockey jersey is shipped, it always goes in a Tyvex envelope. So it's automatically packaged it for me. My remaining item, um, I have my system set up that if there's no packaging scenario, it just comes into a default package, which I have as custom packaging. Right? And for those that are using Starship, you know, in this interface, it's still that same, you know, I can link into my packaging database. Uh, for those that are not using Starship, with Starship, you can set up your own custom packaging, and that can be bags, bales, pallets, what have you. But the nice thing with using packaging is as you can see, we'll automatically populate the dimensions. So again, one way we can kind of look at our order, uh, we can also switch to this packaging assistant. And this, again, just another look and feel of how I can get into that item to box detail if I require that. Um, as I mentioned, my items, hey, if there's no packaging scenario, they go into a default box. But you could also have your system set up that if there are no packaging scenarios, 
they come in as loose items. And then here, as we can see, oh, here's my unpacked items. I can over here add boxes, again, get into item to box detail. In this case, you know, I know, oh, I can also fit the socks in with the jersey in that Tyvex envelope. So I've just packaged this order. Um, weights, we can pull from scales. You can manually type them in. Uh, my system, I'm actually just pulling the weights because they are set up inside of Sage. So I'm just looking at Sage's inventory database and bringing in those weights. So one less thing as a shipper, I have to worry, you know, throwing a box on a scale, so on and so forth. The weights are automatically coming in. And with the packaging uh, database, you could also add tier weights. So and maybe if I was using, I uh, had a box and I had to put additional packaging material and made it a little heavier, I could also do a tier weight. So maybe, hey, I need to add an extra pound. This would automatically show four pounds. Again, get away from using a scale, have it automated, come in, and really when I'm ready, just bring it in, ship and process, get my labels, and move on to the next shipment. All right. So from here, I could actually ship and process, but let's switch back uh, just for the sake of the demo, and we'll kind of minimize some of these screens here and go back up top. So again, um, one option here, and in my system, let me just sort by the carrier service down in the rating is, as you can see, I have this little alert, and this is telling me, hey, you could save $2.73. Again, that's with USPS. Uh, my system, I have this set up just as a demo. Most of we can do this for you as well. Some of you might even already have this set up. But the nice thing with this is, hey, I can look and see potential savings. Now, because it's demo, I can't select it, but at least I can see, and you, know, you can run reports off of this, uh, but nice feature you know, as you're shipping, maybe we find, oh, yeah, we do have some items that we, we could save money. You know, most certainly reach out to us. We can get you get you hooked up with that USPS module. Mm -hmm. uh, but with the rating, again, current customers, as you know, Starship, when we rate shop, we're going to send out to the carriers your live account information. So they are going to return your live negotiated rates. Again, live rates, no staging tables. You know, tomorrow UPS ups a fuel surcharge. Tomorrow, you rate, you'll see that new um, rate with that new fuel surcharge. Uh, for those who aren't using Starship, we do currently have integrations with over two dozen carriers, and that is LTL, 3PLs, and of course, I see UPS, FedEx, um, and as well as USPS. So I'm going to be able to see list charges, which are published, contract, my live negotiator rates, and then as you see here, apply charges, a little different amount. Uh, apply charges with, within Starship and even on the right back, that is plus or minus any freight rules. So with Starship, and if anyone's currently has freight rules set up, they still apply in the web UI. I can just click on the apply total here, and it gives me a breakdown of the charges. And if I wanted to, I see I have a freight rule here. I can drill down further, and it's going to explain the freight rule to me. But as you can see, freight rules can be percentages, min maxes, flat rates. The trigger or the, the fields that Starship looks at uh, can go all the way down to line item detail. In my case here, I'm actually using a user defined field that I have set up in Sage on customer maintenance, simple checkbox. And as you see, it's selected. So this customer is receiving the 10% discount on freight. Okay. So again, those using Starship, same functionality, just nice look feel of the new UI. Now when I'm ready, I can, of course, ship and process. Also still have the shortcut icon, so I can, as you can see, if I just wanted to save the shipment without processing it, you know, if I was staging a shipment, I could just save or hit Control S. F3 is the ship and process where it's fully going to process this and generate my shipping documents. I can also do Control F3 and, and do the ship process and as well get a um, return label. All right, so here we'll just do the ship and process. And of course, as I mentioned, we ship and process. As a shipper, I am going to receive my shipping documents. Uh, for the sake of this demo, they will just preview here, uh, but most certainly we can send these right to a printer, and that can be thermal or laser. Um, also for the demo, I'm using our, well, this is what we call our smart label. So as you can see, the smart label will generate a shipping label as well as a packing list, and this would go to a laser printer because it prints on a piece of paper. Um, but again, if we wanted to, we can send that shipping label to a thermal printer. Starship's packing list, you then will have the option. You can send that to a thermal printer as well. You know, send it to a four by six uh, thermal label, or of course, just send it to a, a laser printer and print it on paper. Um, also, you might notice the 
packing list here is customized. I added our company logo. But the documents that Starship can print, and if this was an international shipment, we can do um, commercial invoices, NAFTA forms, shipper's letter of instructions. This was an LTL shipment, be able to do bill lading forms, pallet labels, carton labels. Uh, but they can be customized. Unlimited templates on the customization. And with each custom template, you can also get into assigning printing rules. So nowadays, and a lot of clients I have, they're drop shipping for say, maybe like a Walmart, Home Depot, and maybe the customer you're drop shipping for says, oh, you know what, we need it to show it's coming from us, maybe even put our logo on there. So the nice thing with that template, you can design one, you know, again, with Walmart, hey, maybe we'll put their logo on there, their information, simply set up a rule, and then when the shipment is for just Walmart, it would now oh, automatically grab that template get into customizing those. All right, I'm just gonna X out of there. Now again, shipping process, receive my shipping documents, they'll just probably print out, and it's gonna take me right back to that selection screen. So now I just move on, either scan my next barcoded order or manually select it and just go through that whole process again. All right. uh, some other features, you know, we have these nice uh, recent shipments kind of alert so I can see, hey, what's been processed really quick. I have access to that. Even as you can see here, I have a warning. This one I just saved, so it hasn't been processed. Um, you know, I can see also what's been printed, printer notifications, uh, but really nice look and feel um, you know, compared to the current client. Now, I'll just close that, minimize down, and we'll jump into Sage. So I'll go into invoice data entry, kind of switch gears here, put on my front office hat, and go into SO invoice data entry. So again, anyone familiar with the business object interface um, with this, same with this web UI, Starship will automatically create the invoice inside of Sage. So here's that invoice, 273 is the order we just shipped. Header tab, there's my tracking information. Normal functionality, we're gonna write this right back into Sage's tracking tables, so I can even use their little hyperlink to track, as well as if I wanted to see item to box detail, we could see that as well. So if I different packaging, I could see all the different items in each box. And then on the totals tab, we are gonna write back that freight amount, and again, that is plus or minus any freight rules. I also get into write back rules, so if there are some scenarios where you do not want freight to write back, Simply create a rule and Starship, of course, would look at that rule and say, oh, you know, they already charged the freight on the sales order, for example. We're not going to write back and override that. All right. And then really quick, of course, I'll just jump into our e-notify program. I know a lot of customers that are using Starship don't take advantage of this program. Uh, so this is e-notify. Very simple. You can create your own custom email templates, put your company logo on there, build your brand awareness. Very easy to create, link in Sage fields like PO, sales order number, you know, let the customer know uh, what's been shipped to them, package breakdown, hyperlink tracking numbers. So these can help reduce those inbound calls of customers looking for their shipments. And just like the printing documents, uh, you can get into unlimited templates on these as well as setting up emailing rules. So maybe I don't wanna send this promo code to every customer, you don't have to, simply create a rule and Starship will just say, oh, yep, it's that customer, maybe it's platinum, let's send them the, the promo code. And then I'm just gonna jump back into Starship and open up Dashboard here. So Dashboard is our reporting tool. Uh, it's really quick, this is gonna pop up with some performance indicators. Uh, so you know, I can see shipment by carrier, by status, you know, all the way down to, hey, who shipped what? And we have some status charts here. As you can see, maybe my top five services, top five customers, shipment history. Uh, but nice new feature in Dashboard is a heat map. So I can even drill down into this. And you know, let's make this full screen. And I can see you know, where are my hotspots, where have I shipped to, so on and so forth. Okay. Let's minimize that. Oops. Okay. So as you can see, nice new feature there back out okay and dashboard standard feature uh, e-notify standard feature included with starship and if any of the current customers are out there that aren't taking advantage of e-notify or dashboard again please feel free reach out to me 
and we'll certainly get you further information so you can get those programs up and running. That's, really, that's what I wanted to show everyone. Uh, let me bring up my contact information here. So you can most certainly reach out.